Hey everybody, how's it going? So about three weeks ago, I put out my review on the now infamous Steel Panther Pussy Melter pedal. And the reaction was, for the most part, pretty damn positive. Of course, we got some comments from a few escapees from the loony bin claiming it had a seriously damaging effect. Dude, it's a guitar pedal, not an honor killing. Get a fucking grip. Now, I thought this was over and done, but a fan of the show, Dennis Nilsson, reached out to me the other day about some rather interesting developments going on over at Reverb.com. You see, Dennis listed his pedal for sale and then got this message from the listings and standards team. Hi Dennis, Reverb customer support here. We're writing today in regard to a listing on your shop. Reverb, Steel Panther, Pussy Melter. Our listings and standard team has permanently suspended this to address the following. Explicit offensive imagery. This type of image is not allowed on Reverb. Reverb is a fully inclusive international marketplace. We do our best to make sure all content on the site is accessible and appropriate for all audiences. No further action is needed at this time. If you have any questions or additional information about your listing that you would like to share with us, please reply directly to this email with your comments or consideration. Please refer to our Reverb listing guidelines linked in the signature below for future reference when creating new listings for sale on the site. Guys, it's a distortion pedal? Prefer me to list it as a P-Melter? Hi there! We understand what this pedal does. In this case, the imagery and the pedal itself is what we do not allow on our site. Unfortunately, there isn't any way to edit this one to keep on Reverb. We appreciate your understanding. Best, the listings and standards group. Okay, first off, 600 British pounds for this distortion pedal is just plain robbery. That's 787 US dollars plus shipping for fucking pedal! Dennis, knock it off, you greedy bastard. You're starting to make the pharma bro look like a reasonable businessman. Anyway, beside the fuck me gently with a chainsaw price, I've really got to wonder what's up with the listings and standards team over at Reaver. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a great site. I've sold some of my own gear there, and I think it's a viable alternative to eBay. I'd like to buy stuff on Reverb as well, but the shipping charges to Canada are just simply out of the question because they're fucking unreasonable. However, I have had reps from Reverb on the show and generally a good overall experience with the platform. So that being said, I gotta ask, what the fuck, Reverb? Really? Dennis can't attempt to rob the public blind because of the imagery on this pedal, which is text, by the way. Hmm, you know, I'm not sure I follow the logic here, because Dennis was kind enough to share with me items listed on Reverb of a similar tone. There's the Big Muff Pie, the Echo Sex, the Sexy Drive, the Friedman Pink Taco, and the Keox Pussy Power. Head on over to Reverb LP where music is being sold, and you can find all sorts of products that the listings and standards team is perfectly fine with. Like Two Live Crews, We Want Some Pussy, Dwarves Blood Guts and Pussy, Nashville Pussies from Hell to Texas, and Jackie O's Nookie Real Good. The only logical conclusion that I can deduce from this is that someone at Reverb's listings and standard team really doesn't like the word melter because they can't possibly be trying to enforce a double standard. Look, I get it. It's Reverb's site and they make the rules. Evidence shows that those rules only apply to some people. I'm guessing those are the people that they don't like. Now, this has piqued my curiosity as I'm planning on launching my own line of pedals. The cock blocker gate is already being prototyped and I should get a demo unit in hand in a week or two. Will I be able to list it on Reverb or will I even have a Reverb store after this video goes public? I guess it really depends on how vindictive they are. Wow. I sure hope this doesn't spoil my plans for the Morning Wood Expander Pedal or the Cream Pie Chorus. Time will tell, I guess. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to reach out to the listings and standards team and thank them personally for protecting all of our delicate sensibilities from this awful pedal. The world is now a better place because of your diligent upkeep of morals and taste. Well, at least in this singular case, anyway. Now, if you excuse me, I'm off to find a safe space. Hey guys, if you like the video, be sure to subscribe as I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. If you want to learn more about recording, check out one of my tutorials or one of my gear reviews if you want the actual honest truth about a piece of equipment. Till next time, stay metal, my friends.